I was blessed many, many years ago to go to Italy a couple times, and they're renowned for their amazing designs, so rich and so beautiful, and who doesn't want to wear money? I love wearing money as jewelry. Well, that's just a little bit of the story behind what Bellezza is all about. We have a glorious hour, and I'm so excited about it. It's one of my favorite lines. And quite frankly, I haven't done a Bellezza show in a very, very long time. So we've got a lot of treats for you. If you want something that's gorgeous, really richly designed, looks mega expensive, but doesn't cost that much, you're in the right place. All right, let me give you a preview. Okay, big, big, huge heads up on this, you guys. Go as fast as your little fingers can on your computer or on your phone because you do not want to miss out on this. O-M-G. My producer and I are both crazed over this one, for sure. Look at the price on this. This started out at $92. It's got beautiful half, like it feels like it is solid gold. We'll tell the story in a minute. It is available in either your gold tone or your silver tone. And guess what? The price used to be $92. Tonight, it's $55.98. It is a glorious, rich, expensive-looking timepiece. It feels like you spent thousands on it, but today you won't. Now, we have it on sale, and it's really limited, okay? So you have your choice of two colors, and then there's two sizes. We have small, medium, and we have medium, large. Do not wait on this. I love it. It's easy to take on and off. It's got these beautiful, gentle hinges to them, oval shapes that's going to stay correctly on your hand when you're wearing it or on your wrist, and it's simply gorgeous with a giant J, or G. <laughs> I was going for the just part, not the gorge part. <laughs> with a giant G. Anyway, grab it. It's fabulous. It's coming up. We'll tell you more about it in just a moment. Then, check out the bracelet. Oh my God, did you see how cool the bracelet was with it? This is how you wear the Belletza stuff. You just pile it on, ladies. You just put it on and love it and wear it. When I'm talking about wearing money, who doesn't want to wear money? I love this because it's historic, and I'm a huge history buff. These are genuine leers that you're seeing. They've taken coins. They're no longer in circulation. Shine them up and put them on jewelry. And look at this stunning rope chain included. This is exciting because the story behind it includes. Dun, 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 dun. I wish my memory's better than it was. Hang on just a moment. It is. It's on clearance, right? No, it's not. Wait, I've got a clearance one coming up. Okay. Tag on it. Now, where is this? I'm going to find it because it's such a cool story behind it. Ankle set, link chain, roller drop bracelet with Lyra. That's not either. Okay, I don't know which one this is, but it's going up. <laughs> $99.95, and it's on three flex, and I do love it. It's great for layering. Again, tell you all the details in just a bit. Now, this is another great one, and it is brand new tonight, and it's so awesome. Look at this. It's this pop heart necklace. Now, these are really difficult to do, actually. It's a technique that is extremely difficult because it's designed to be um, puffed, and that's an electroform. An electroform gives you a really big look without using so much precious metal or metals, and it is, doesn't have a really heavy weight, even though you get this big, gorgeous, expensive look to it. Uh, it's a puffed heart, and it comes with a little toggle clasp on it. And we have three belt colored choices. We have the rose gold color, we have the golden tone, or we have the silver tone, 18 inches long, just really, really great. The rose tone, by the way, is the most limited. Oh, and something you've got to know as we get into this, we do not have a lot of anything of this. Like, uh, uh, most of my pieces are between two and 300. I'll have a couple pieces where I have 900, but it is really limited. So, lots to get into. And I gotta walk over there to start. <laughs> I'll just keep smiling.
Let's jump into this, everybody. Oh my gosh, such, just such so many stories to get to. We're starting off with a really, really cool ring. I've got great earrings we're gonna feature as well, these little stud earrings. One thing to note about the Belletza line is that all mixes and match. You can have so much fun with this collection and you can just uh, really adorn yourself with some really stunning jewelry. All right, we're gonna go to one of my very favorite guests in the whole wide world, and I have not seen nor talked to him in a very long time, but Paul Woods joins me to really go into what Belletza it is all about and tell you the cool story. So Paul, happy new years. I love you. I have missed you terribly. Love you and miss you too. Happy new year, my dear. You know, I thought, I thought it must be a TS when I saw your name show up on the schedule because you like, you're on every night at midnight. I'm always watching. You're fabulous. And I'm so excited to be here because we have lots of brand new items made beautifully for you in Italy. And we have a couple of pieces that are such good deals. <laughs> oh, just you wait. But we're starting with this gorgeous ring. And I can't I can't talk about the bee without talking about Gucci, which you know I used to work at. And Gucci, you know, two years ago, they put the buzz back in bees. I mean, they started putting bees on everything. And the fashion community woke up, took notice, and said, Yes, it's time for the bee again. So everybody is doing it in fashion, particularly in Italy and in France. But they're not the first. This started back in Egyptian times when the bee was revered for you know its its place in the pantheon. The fact that it could make honey and honey had healing properties and it was an indus industrious insect and blah blah. You know there was all these reasons why the bee became cool. But they're cute, and I love that they're cute. And the the bee that we used for the ring, and this, oh my God, it's so beautiful. The bee that we used for the ring is actually one I saw in the British Museum um, that dates to 1400 years before Christ. That is the style and the inspiration for this bee. So it has a timeless quality to it, but we set it on a honeycomb. And the thing about honeycomb is honeycomb is six sided. And the number six is the number of love. It's the number of romance. It's it's Venus's number, and it is the number of love. That's so awesome. it's a bee on a honey. Yeah, it's a bee that on a honeycomb so cool. of Look love. This. This, I'm gonna hold it really still, Paul, so they can see it. So there you go. So there should be in the front. I love the wide band too. I love the Italian inspiration of this entire line. You know, there to me, Paul is no one is more passionate about passionate about making jewelry than the Italians. And like I said, I was blessed a long time ago to take a couple trips over there. And um, even though a lot of people didn't speak English. I was in some of the very, literally small houses, I mean homes, and they were making fine jewelry, right? And uh, even though I couldn't talk to them, you could just see how proud they were generation, generationally of their jewelry making. And I think this whole Belletta line represents that gorgeous, rich Italian beauty that they find in everything, whether it's their food or the way they dress in that casual chic, or it's their gold jewelry that they wear. That's what you're getting. I got a little goosebump on that one because it's just all of this is just so beautiful and look look even from a distance I mean you know my top's okay it's kind of a cute top but boy with all this rich gold jewelry on or gold style jewelry it just elevates everything to that next level now the sizes on the ring are five through ten so five through ten are your sizes remember it's a little bit wider so consider that when you're getting it over your knuckle I am wearing basically my normal size but just consider that when you're thinking about it also you've got this honeycomb as uh, already Paul had talked about. This is very limited though. We do not have a ton of these to go around. We were hoping to bring in a whole bunch more at the last second. I don't know if they made it. My producer Rick's going to have to tell me because I don't have a clue. Oh good. Okay. So we have about 350 remaining, but that's it. And like I said, going into the show, very limited stuff. So you're going to see a lot of things sell out. Little heads up. We are going to get to this glorious clearance watch. It has never been this price. We've already sold a couple hundred from the preview. So if you're thinking about that watch, you could see it also on Val. Do not wait on that watch. I think it's going to be an absolute sellout before our two hours are done with um, Paul. Um, Paul, you know, I, I want you to explain how the metals are used on this jewelry line for somebody who might be new. Oh, I'm, what a good lead in. So this ugly brown thing on my hand is a 2,000 year old bronze ring and it was found in Mesopotamia. This is the most priceless thing I own. Wow. This was on earth when Jesus walked the earth and it's made of bronze. This is made of bronze. That's the heart, the core of every Belletta piece, pure, solid Italian 
bronze. And then we marry it with 18 karat gold. And that's why it's the exact same color as your real gold you might be fortunate enough to have. Because it's bronze though, it's durable. It's a forever metal. There was an entire age named after bronze. So we start with pure bronze and we marry it with 18 karat gold. And that's why you get these beautiful looks. They are crafted in the same workhouses that work for us in 18 karat gold and 14 karat gold and platinum. They're the same artists. And so when you see the quality on this ring, you, you'll be like, that ring will be here in 2000 years, just like this one. Yes, it might turn brown in a couple thousand years. This one was buried in the ground and who knows how many people wore it. Actually has an evil eye on it, which is kind of cool. Um, it's a forever metal. And that's what that's the heart of Valletta. That's where we start with every single piece. It's why our earrings are so light. It's why our jewelry feels like gold. It's why it's why it wears so well. Right. And it's a tradition that the Romans started almost 2,000 years ago, and we revived it. And this is our 10th year here, and we have many, many very, very happy customers, and I yes. hope we get to include you guys tonight, because there's some beautiful pieces. Well, tonight. I know there's a ton more people who are saying, yep, I'm going for that watch already. That's probably a good idea. By the way, those little black spinels, those are genuine gemstones. And remember, what touches your skin and everyone sees is 18K, which is really cool. All right, let's move on talking about this watch, okay. So I come into work, you know, and you're, you know, I don't know my shows before. I mean, I know what I'm doing. I know the subject of the show, which I was very excited was Belletza. Uh, but I don't know what's in the show until I actually start digging in and look at the plan. And I got to this watch and I was like, okay, everybody stop the presses. Hold on. And I hadn't seen the watch until I walk on the set. So we only see pictures. I only get to see pictures. And I was like, oh, this is, even, even when I just saw the price knowing it's Belletza, I was like, okay, this is great. Then I saw the pictures, uh, even better. Then I got to the set and I said, all right, mind blow. Here we go. This is available on sale for the very first time. It has never been this price. You have your choice of two sizes and two color choices. It's going to be the silver tone or the gold tone. It is your pick. As you can see with a lot of the Lyra pieces, this will work with both, all as well as with my bracelet. I love this look. Look, this to me is that rich girl look. I fake it till I make it, you know? This is so glorious. And we'll get to this bracelet in just a second. It's an all-time favorite coming up. This is on sale, though. And it's never been a better time to get a beautiful timepiece. I really don't like the, even the fact we call it a watch. I would elevate this to a timepiece. And here's why. You've got the heft like it's solid, genuine gold. It's beautiful. You've got a hinged opening. Very easy to take this on and off. You've got two size choices, which which is wonderful. Your first size is going to be the small medium, which fits a five and a half to six and a half. And the medium large fits a six to seven inch and truly a stunning work of art. Don't call it a watch. Please call it a timepiece because I think, Paul, it, 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 it shouldn't be called a watch. It is so beautiful. It's so nicely executed. It feels so good. It is be It should be elevated beyond just a typical watch because it's not a typical watch. I agree with you and shall call it a timepiece henceforth. Let me talk a little <laughs> bit you. about the design <laughs> henceforth. The design. You see that B that's on the center of this. You're going to see a lot of Bs tonight because the B is very important in fashion and it's very important in history. This B happens to be the Barberini B. And the Barberinis were basically the powerful family in Rome starting around 1550. Yeah. And when you go, there you go. So here on the, on the crest, you'll see the Barberini bees. There's oh, another wow. statue where you see, and you start looking around Rome. These bees are everywhere, including inside of the cathedral. That's because they were the ones behind the Pope. See the bees there along the, the shell at the bottom? So that, that's called, a bar, there they are on the crest. So these are Barberini bees. And we did them in Nintaglio style. And what that means is they're sort of uh, bas relief or almost, three, almost 3D the way they look. So there's a lot of dimension to the dial on this timepiece. Now you talked about the heft. Let me tell oh you why. Goodness. This timepiece starts with carving a solid block of bronze to make the case. It's not molded, it's not hollow, it's, not, it's a solid block of bronze. That's where we start. Then we have pure bronze in that bracelet. I do wanna tell you, by the way, it's very generously sized, so if you're between sizes, go down. That's what the customers are saying in their reviews, it's a, it's a bit big. Um, easy breezy to put on, Japanese movement, three ATM uh, water resistance, it has a wonderful three-year warranty. 
it's just gorgeous and you haven't seen anything like it and look at that cable bracelet so doesn't pretty. that look like something very expensive yeah. that you've seen maybe at the mall yeah. yes indeedy. so it's got <laughs> yes yes indeedy it has that look that you're looking for but it's made beautifully and that's why it's a customer pick many of them are perfect the only thing people have said that is negative at all is that it's a, it's a bit large sized and so Buy the smaller one if your wrist is on the smaller side. And I think you'll be very, very happy, especially on sale. <laughs> I, love sale. <laughs> I love good clearance. And again, now guys, I think this is an important point. It is a customer pick. So it's not like, oh, this is just the worst thing ever. We're putting it on sale to get rid of it. No, we've just got a handful left and we don't have a lot. And we just did a dramatic drop in price. Originally, this was a customer pick. The customers paid $92 for it, who then loved it so much, they took the time to go online line and give it several five-star reviews. You are not that person tonight. You're only paying $55.98. We have three flex pays on it. If you really want a beautiful, glorious timepiece, you can really read the face. It's not a little petite face. You really can see the time on here, but you want something that has that Italian flair, that quality that is just absolutely impeccable. You can, I, I mean, from a million miles away, I can spot Italian jewelry. There is just something, or Italian designs. It's something that is so rich and beautiful and inherent Apparently has such a, a, a sophisticated style to it. That's why you can throw this watch on with nothing else if you'd like, or for me, this is really kind of the way I love to go. If you're really going for it, you want to add, if you can swing it, we're going to get to this in a, in a couple of minutes. I think those two together are stunning. And I could have gone for the silver tone as well, because the Liras will include both the silver and gold tone in many cases, as you can see. So simply an absolutely great buy for you. It's a great gift idea too, because again, Again, it's easy to take on and off. It's not a hook. You don't have to fiddle with anything. So if you are thinking a gift idea, anybody would love this. And please remember, what people see and what touches your skin is genuine 18 karat gold. It doesn't have that brassy look of faux gold. Even though we say gold tone or silver tone, this is 18K. And that's really the key to this. If this were indeed solid gold, you might as well put several digits in front of the 5598. <laughs> this is how you wear that rich 18K but not have to pay for it. But no, you're still getting a precious metal, which is lovely. And of course, the base is going to be that amazing uh, brass that's underneath there. But with the story here, the bronze, bronze or it's bronze, sorry, the bronze that's underneath. All right, guys, here's the story though. In, let me give you an update. In the silver tone first, in the small medium, I have 75 left if you want the silver tone small medium, and I have 170 left in the medium large. In the gold, guys, this is important. In the small medium, I have 100 left, and the medium large, I have 290. The countdown is on. I know we're gonna go just a hair bit longer because obviously, you all should take advantage of it. It is so glorious to get a really beautiful watch. And then to give a watch that's so distinct and so stunning. You know, Paul, you know, for looks like this, even if it would be just fashion jewelry looks and not 18K and not as well made and you don't have the, you know, the water depth, you can get a little water on it. Um, you would absolutely pay more than $55.98. This gives you all the luxury, the look and the quality, but again, not that giant price. You know what, if this was any other retailer and had a designer name on it, this timepiece would be $250, $300. If it said Michael or Ralph or whatever on it, that's how it would be priced. But we work directly with the manufacturer and you know, HSM, we have power here. So we get you the quality of a designer timepiece and then we actually upgrade it by using genuine gold to give it that color, which designers don't do. They paint their stuff. Yeah. So th that's really a, a huge upgrade. And when you get this on your wrist, trust me, like the other customers before you, you're gonna go, wow, that that looks like a many thousand dollar piece of, of jewelry. And it looks like a trip to Italy. It looks like, like that indulgent favorite plate of pasta you shouldn't eat, but you did. It's the, it's just everything that Italy is, and no calories, no calories <laughs> in a time piece. And look, right. next, next to a gold bracelet, it's exactly the same color. It's working, it's yeah. working. All right, guys, it's a quick yeah. update too. Um, the gold is almost gone. If you want the gold tone, please don't wait any longer. The silver's following that just by a hair. Also, you gotta see these beautiful earrings. They are so gorgeous. I actually have them on right now. They are a nice size, so I grabbed my little hot ruler here to show you 
Look at this. I love this. Now, these are genuine liras. They're going to work with virtually anything you see in our two hours. So you can see they come about three quarters of an inch. They've got the rope design around them. Obviously, they're for pierced ears. And of course, you have genuine lira. So you have your silver tone choice or you have the gold tone choice. And again, you can see it works here, works here works here, it just works. And so if you are gonna go for maybe the necklace coming up, some of the other pieces we have, we will have a pendant that can drop on some of the chains we'll offer later. This is gonna be a really perfect earring to go with it, or it's a standalone, it's a nice size, so certainly you can wear it by themselves. All right, we gotta move on, Paul. We have so much to get to. Let me tell you about the HSN card. Okay, this is kind of a big deal tonight. When we have our HSN card, you get a whole access to a whole bunch of good stuff that a lot of people don't have. And so that's one really great reason why to get our card. And it's things like extra flex pay and special deals and special offers. It's really fun. Here's the scoop though. Tonight is the last time for the last couple of hours for now that you can get that card and get it on uh, $40 towards your first purchase. I was gonna say on sale, it's kinda like that. And what happens with that is if you get the card, the very first thing you buy with it, you we're gonna take $40 off the price. So for example, if you're gonna go for this glorious necklace, oh my gosh, it's brand new, we're gonna take 40 bucks off if you use the card and you can apply online, take advantage of it because it's gonna change tonight at midnight to either 10 or 20, I don't know what it'll go to next. The best, normally what we do is 10, but right now you're gonna get our biggest deal when you get the card. It's $40 off that first purchase, Two night only, that is it. All right, so we have a whole suite of items in this next collection, and it's beautiful. It's taking this wonderful technique of doing this beautiful hammer design and then doing an etched design to give us the highs and lows. You see how you see the really sparkly, shiny, shiny right here? And then you see that hammered effects makes the light play off the metal very, very differently between both designs. Hey, by the way, on those framed earrings we just featured, I only have 300 pairs to go around. So we're starting off with the ribbed oval link necklace these come in at 24 inches long which is lovely because they're longer and they're 9 16 of an inch wide now we do have the drop earrings that actually have there we are right there are the drop earrings and do i have the silver pair in these or we just have the gold is it just the gold pair i'll double check we should have silver tones somewhere so uh, we shall find them. And then one last thing I want to show you. This is really pretty, pretty. Look at this triple strand hammered bracelet. And then they've put a lira dancing at the bottom of it. And it's got a nice big long extension on that. So the bracelet's actually going to start at seven and a half inches. And you can extend that another two inches, which is great. So a whole suite of goodies right here. Uh, Paul, let's jump into this. I know it's um, absolutely brand new. We're launching. It's also a smart deal tonight. What makes this a in your mind extra special and different? Wow, you know, one of the things the Italians do better than anybody is take the combination of textures and shapes and marry them together. And you can often tell Italian jewelry when you, when you see that kind of artistic flair, if you will. So what they did here was the Etruscan hammered link alternated with the diamond cut ribbed link. And it's every other one. And it gives you this play of light that I gotta tell you, it's you know, when you're in Sicily and you're having that cocktail as the sun goes down and the sun hits the water and it shimmers and ripples, that's the look that you get off of this. This is sunset on vacation right at your neck. And what gold does is take all the light in the room and give it back to you as candlelight. This is a substantial necklace. There's a lot of look here, but the way we've created it, it's not heavy. And as my Italian friend said, she said, he's a lot of look, but not heavy, so it's not annoying. <laughs> and I had to laugh at her. I said, she, gets, she gets annoyed easily. It's not yeah. good. <laughs> she wants to be comfortable. So it's 24 inches long. We hardly ever do that as the only size. So it's really, really versatile. It has an extender in the back. The lobster claw is so generous. It's so easy to put on you, if you don't want to just slip I gotta it over tell your you, head. I don't have my glasses out here, and I love these lobster claws. <laughs> you can see these lobster claws Aren't a mile they, away huge. in a Virginia snowstorm. I'm just saying. Like, they're really big, and you can get your finger on them, and you can actually see them without having to squint or put your readers on. These are fabulous. And you know what I love? 
I found that in virtually everything we're having in the show. Look how big that lobster claw clasp is on the bracelets available. So guys, this is just, you know, for me, Paul, um, there's, I'm, you know, as you know, I'm very passionate about the Belletta line and I have lots of pieces at home and I love wearing them. And I think what's really fun about it is that all of us can play in a world that normally we can't touch. You know, if you're really buying solid gold jewelry, Italian styling, big, bold pieces, you know, they run in the thousands of dollars. And I can't play in that world. That's just not in my budget. And it's not where I'm going to spend my money, right? I got other things I got to do. Right. But I love Belletta because I pretend play here, but I still get quality that is so impeccable. And I'm not wearing fake jewelry. I'm wearing 18 karat gold. I could care less what's inside underneath it. It really doesn't matter to me. The fact that what everybody sees, what my friends see, what I love is the warmth of that genuine 18K. So you guys, this allows us to step into gorgeous pieces that really look like we're wearing, because we are, genuine gold, and really move into that level that normally we'd have to pass up in our lives. And I love that about this line, Paul. I love the passion you bring it. I love the passion the designers have for it. I love the stories behind it. It's just so pretty. It's so exciting. And it's an adventure, too, because something like this, Paul, where it is bold and beautiful, really makes that statement when you have on even a basic tunic top. Oh, it's so versatile. You know, I could see this over a, you know, under a blouse, over a blouse, over a turtleneck with a cashmere jacket. With it. I, I could see it at the pool in the summer. I mean, it's one of those pieces that's just going to go with you the whole time. One of the things I'd like to show, and you're going to have to use your camera, sure. you know, there's a there's a company out there online who is copying what we're doing with Valencia, and <laughs> no I got kidding. very I got very upset. I got very upset. So I ordered some pieces because the prices seem too good to be true. Okay. Well, I want you to look at these links, and they look as if they are seamless. You cannot find a seam. Okay. How on earth do they weave these together? Well, first they're cut and then they're woven together, and then they are soldered and polished. You cannot find one single seam on anything. On this copy collection that I ordered from online, you could see every crack, every seam, every flaw, every wow. detail. I said, okay, clearly not made in Italy. And that's why I can tell Italian jewelry from a mile away. It's just perfectly crafted. Every detail is taken care of and considered just as if it were solid 18 karat gold or solid platinum. You know, in the white color, that is plated with platinum. It's married with platinum. That's, That's what gives it that look. Great. So it's super, super white hot and super bright. And if you're that girl that prefers moonlight over sunlight, then that's the color for you. They're both absolutely gorgeous. Now on the bracelet, rather than alternating links, we did three rows of the hammered links. So it wasn't too matchy matchy because sometimes I don't always like matchy matchy and so but it complements beautifully and it's so pretty on and that features the is it the hundred lira i think on the, uh, on the bracelet I, I can double check for you yes it's the hundred it's the hundred lira mini yeah. mini lira yeah but that's a coin you don't see very often they only made it for five years between 1990 and 1995 and it has not been in circulation since then so every coin that you cool. see will already be over 25 years old and i always tell you when you're collecting collect things that aren't made anymore collect things that can't be copied collect things that are becoming rare because then you're assured you won't see it coming and going and True. um you won't you know it'll always sort of hold its value maybe even go up that's the beauty of collecting rare coins. And you know what's Val, fun? you look gorgeous as always, and I miss you too. You, well, you know what? I love how Val wore it too. She's just got almost like a uh, like a micro suede um, blouse on, and then a little wrap around there, and then pop. Look at the jewelry. Like without that necklace, I mean, it's an okay shirt. It's fine. But boy, once you put that necklace on, doesn't it magically change everything? It changes her outfit. It changes the look. It just it instantly elevates whatever you're wearing. So it could be a basic tee, and I love it. If you go to Italy, if you ever get the chance, the Italian women have this sexy casualness um, and they all wear 18k it's amazing and I, I, I you, you, they, it's, it looks absolutely effortless for them 
okay? And I think it's the reason is they'll have a jean on and they'll have a white tee and then they'll have all this gorgeous 18 karat and they go for it. They don't wear just little teeny pieces. And you just marvel, like, how do they look so effortlessly chic? It's because they're wearing 18 karat gold jewelry, okay? They're still wearing the same jeans and t-shirt we have, but then once they add that jewelry, that's when the magic happens. And I've marveled at it for years and really tried to study what makes it so different. And it's the quality of the jewelry you're wearing. Exactly what Paul's saying. The fact that you're not seeing any of the seams. You're, these aren't tinty. When you put this necklace on, it doesn't feel tinty when you're wearing it. And when you're talking tinty, we're talking about really thin metal that's very cheaply made. You might have had to buy something or made the mistake of buying something like that. You will not find that here for sure. Are we going to wrap up on this one? Guys, $119.98. That is a limited uh, time on the savings, which is a little over $20 off. We have five flex, which is fantastic. And on top of all of that, it is a brand new collection. I'm sorry, uh, Rick, what'd you say? Matching pieces. Okay. Two things we want to show you right off the bat is going to be the bracelets. These are glorious. I love the hammered. Again, anything with texture, again, gives it a richer look when you're wearing it. That is the 100, lira, mir, 100 mini lira on both of these. And again, silver tone, gold tone. That's a platinum finish. That's 18K. This comes starts as seven and a half inches, but you get two more inches to work with. So this is going to be really helpful to custom fit this to your wrist when you're wearing it. And then the drop earrings are right here they come in an inch and a half and yes we found our little silver tone we've got both of these and again they replicate that hammered and then of course they have that beautiful beautiful uh, almost etched design or rib design which uh, is absolutely Gorgeous. All right, we're going to wrap up on those guys. We got flex on everything. Take advantage of it. All right, guys, I got to give you an update on the watch. My producer, Rick, said, could you please show that one more time? And I will be glad to. Some of you missed it. That's okay. Let me show you what it's all about. It's gorgeous. Now, we have sold almost 400 in just this airing, okay? So here's the scoop. Let's break it down if we can. There's two sizes, small, medium, and then medium, large. They're hinged, easy to take on and off. You have gold tone or silver tone. In the gold tone, small, medium. There are 40 left. That is gonna be sold out before our show with Paul is done. I have 170 left of the medium, large, okay? So just, and here, real quick, I think I still have my card handy somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. The small medium fits a five and a half to six and a half, and the medium large is a six to seven inch. Uh, Paul did say it runs a little bit larger, so if you're kind of on the smaller size, go down a size. Um, but I think it'll be fine. I'm wearing, I mean, I have a small wrist, but I'm wearing this one very comfortably, and I think I have the large on, actually. Uh, anyway, both of these are available. They're on sale for the first time. When it became a customer pick, it was at $92. Tonight, and only tonight, while they're available, and the gold's almost gone, it's $55.98 and we have three flex. All right, there's another little quick reminder. I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated on that. Come on, that's a deal. <laughs> that's a really good offer. All right, let's move on to this glorious coin ring. I'm always like, kind of go big or go home. <laughs> that's kind of my story. I love big jewelry. I love bold jewelry. I am not a petite little thing, and so, you know, I kind of love going for it. This is called our, um, let's see, 50, 500 lira. It's a big one and it is the bronze coin bracelet. So this is gonna be a genuine 500 lira. I'll show you a measurement because I think it helps when you get to these bigger pieces. It's about an inch. It is extremely comfortable on the finger. You can see that beautiful rope design, not only around the lira, but here. I love it because it's two-tone. So if you take it back to this coming up, guess what? It's just gonna work back to all of your Belletza pieces. And quite frankly, if you have gold or silver pieces at home, it's gonna blend in beautifully with those too. Your sizes on this will be Dun, 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 five through ten. Oh, it's not on my card, but it is five through ten. All right, very good. Start with bronze, finish with 18 karat gold. So, Paul, kind of walk us through this ring and tell us a little bit about this big lira. Oh, gosh, this, this may be one of my my most favorite is favorite is lira. And when the camera comes to me, you see I have my lira Bible, but uh, this is the book that I use to find the rare coins that we that we source and use for the jewelry. So. I love I love the 500 lira primarily because it's a first in a lot of ways. It's the first coin ever designed by a woman. Her name is Laura Cretara. She's an artist in Italy, wonderfully talented, almost 90 now, and a really sweet gal. And so I love the fact that it's the first coin designed by a woman. I love the fact that it's the first coin to ever use two different colors of metal. We call it bimetallic. 
That was never done anywhere in the world before this coin. So it's first for that. And it's also the first coin to feature Braille. And so it's just a lot of first. I like the fact that it's big. I like the fact that it's, it's a permission piece because you get the two tones. Look, you can wear it with your gold, wear it with your silver. And it, it, you know, it's kind of a transition piece, a permission piece, I like to call it. That beautiful rope texture around the outside, the way it's framed is gorgeous. And then we continue that on down around the band. And if we, if you have a chance to show the back on your camera, you can see it's mounted beautifully. Oh, sure. I mean, it is, again, it's, Ita it's Italian made. <laughs> and so every detail has been thought of. Look at that, isn't that just gorgeous? Do you know my all time like favorite? My all time favorite Belitza piece from this line is a ring and it's a big ring too. And look at that, I mean, it's so much fun to wear you guys. You know, Paul, there's such it's joy swirling. in wearing this line. There's truly joy in this. And who doesn't want to wear money? Was it? <laughs> you know, was it the big square ring that you liked? Yes, yes, yes. You remember that one? Oh, oh I, not only do I remember it, it's always with me. Oh, this, no, not that one. Ring? No, no, no. I've got a Lyra coin ring. Oh. No, I've got it. It's from years oh, ago. Oh, okay. I mean, literally, it's probably. This, from 10, this is from 10 years ago, and I still carry it because it still looks flawless. Oh, Isn't that's that funny? amazing. I, it, isn't that amazing? You know who wears this? Um, Callie wears this, I think. Um, oh, and I, she had it on one Saturday morning, and I was like, that's Boletta from 10 years ago. That's Boletta from 10 years ago. Well, that's the thing. When you are acquiring Boletta, you're acquiring bronze, a forever medal, married with 18 karat gold, another forever medal. In the case of the Lyra, not in circulation since 2001, and will never be again. That's so crazy. This, Here's, you know, here's what happened. They, they changed to the euro, and the Italian government said, you have six weeks to get all of your money turned in and exchanged for the new money. Otherwise, they won't be worth anything. Well, people panicked. They dug in their sofa cushions and the car seats and, and everywhere to get every single coin they had. Because this was a 500 lira. This was an important, valuable coin. Right. And they turned them in to get euros. Well, guess what? After that, you couldn't find them anywhere. So they became desirable, they became collectible, they became art, and that's, and that's what they are. And some of the coins we'll be showing you tonight, you, you can't even find a single one online if you look for them. No, that's they're... how hard they're getting to find. And some, they're in some such great, you know what's is... so beautiful, Paul? They're in great condition. You know, my man Andrea uh, finds them and collects them, and then we, clean them and polish them lightly. And most of them polish up pretty nicely, but you will, each one's different. They, you know, the one Val has on probably bought a little girl an ice cream. The one I'm wearing definitely bought somebody a drink because that's so me. Uh, you know, they, they just have a story or a plate of pasta. I don't Mine know. Mine bought me a martini. And, <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing I love about a big ring is a big ring hides what's going on and our, as our hands age. I don't like the wrinkles, I don't like the spots, I don't like the veins, the things that are happening on my hands and now that I'm 62, I am not amused. As soon as I put on a big <laughs> ring, amused. nobody sees any of the, all you can see is the ring. Yeah, so it also does great. a little bit of uh, fashion duty, and, you know, sort of covers up things I don't it's want like to notice It's like a little magic anymore. trick, we love that. Who wouldn't notice this ring? And by the way, crazy comfortable, you guys. If you're worried you can't use your phone or your computer or whatever you do all day, it is extremely comfortable even though it is a very large size ring. All right, five through 10 are the sizes, right? 76, 74, it's on sale for the very first time tonight. And again, I think you're just gonna fall madly in love with it. And remember, all this jewelry goes back to your other gold, your other silver, especially when you have the two-tone lira pieces, which is super cool. I mean, hey, if you wanna wear jewelry, why not wear money. <laughs> I think that's awesome. All right, we have so much more to come. We have this beautiful puffed heart, already wildly popular. I've got, I've actually has gemstones coming up next hour in Beletza, which is unusual, and a whole lot more. Discover a world of beauty like you've never seen before. Beauty Report is the insider's guide to getting gorgeous. Join me tonight for a beautiful new routine. The List is your go-to guide for our favorite fashion and accessory finds of the week. We have the best styles hand-picked just for you. Join us every Thursday night to see what made the list. We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. 
That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search Gemstone Care to see our Gemstone Enhancement Chart. HSN. I'm Suzanne Runyon. That is a beautiful Valerie. She's joined us. I'm glad you're here tonight. We're talking about glorious Italian style jewelry in our Balenza line. I love it. Oh, thank you, Rick. Okay, hang on, guys. I'm going to get this one to show it to you live, too, because it's worth hanging out for. You cannot, cannot tune away. So we have some of the best values I've ever seen when it comes to Balenza. And when you want to talk about something really gorgeous, here is your early shot at this. Now, normally tonight, you're going to see us. We'll talk about some beautiful chains coming up and then we'll have the lira or pendant that you add to it okay so you have to buy them separately this is actually all together talk about wow now watch how cool this is it's been designs you can wear and show the front or you can show the back the reverse of this isn't that clever and it is attached but watch this it's got a little clasp here on the bottom so if I do want to remove this and take it off dun, 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 guess what I can take this and if I have just a beautiful chain bracelet I can move it onto my bracelet I can put it onto another chain and I can just wear the necklace by itself so how beautiful is this if this was just a glorious gold statement piece we're all in but the fact you get the removable enhancer is huge now here's the story we have the gold tone and I have Oh, I have a 200 lira or I have the 500 lira. Let me grab the other one. Here we go. So the 500 lira is two-tone and the 200 lira is going to be all your gold tone. Okay, so if you want two-tone that's going to match back to this ring now, then you want to get this one. There are 200 left here and 500 of the gold that you guys love that you bought that watch in. That would be so pretty. This is the 200, this is the 200, which is the gold. And this is the 500, which is the two-tone. I have 100 left here, that's it. So go real quickly. Now, this is on sale for the first time. Again, lowest price we've ever offered. It is such a dynamite, really expensive look. And again, on sale, which is awesome. That's coming up next hour officially. I will have the matching earring to go back to. It works with both of those. So we will get to that next hour if you want the, again, I wanna get this straight, the 500, which is the two-tone, right? Is the two-tone, right? pretty sure. Okay, that's really limited. This might not be available when we finally get to it next hour because I, I kind of let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to leave this out here because I want you guys to see how well this all works together. So let me slide a ring off and slide this ring over. If you just picked up this ring and you said, you know what, Suze, I'm going to absolutely go for it. Look how pretty all of this is together. Now, this is an all-time favorite. In fact, this sold out last June of 2020, last June, so well over a year ago. It has taken us forever to get it back. Look how beautiful this is. It is a series of genuine lira in different sizes and different denominations, strong on this incredible twisted textured rope chain. And this is a voluptuous rope chain. It comes in in your choice of seven and a quarter or eight inch. And I'm gonna double check to make sure I have both. I will let you know I have 150. If you want the eight inch, and again, this is a chunk of your bracelet, so don't, you know, don't worry if you say, well, my wrist is, you know, not quite eight. If I run out of the uh, seven and a quarter, I would jump to the eight in a heartbeat because watch this. If you want, you can take that big, generous lobster claw and, let's see if I can do it, and I can move it a lot smaller. So this gives you a lot more opportunity, a lot more versatility, because I can put this basically on any link I want and it will look fantastic. All right, Paul, let's talk about this one. Boy, you all went for it and just added a whole lot of lira to it. We did, and I, I never know whether to get more excited about the lira or the, the beautiful texture on this or the fact it's made in Italy or that lobster claw clasp. I have never seen a bigger one. You realize in 18 karat gold, that clasp alone would be four or $500. 
just Especially the that. clasp. You know, look at that thing. It's Isn't huge. it just amazing? So you can put it on with acrylic nails. I can put it on without my glasses. I, I love jewelry that's like that. But this is all about the lira. And you get the collection. Now, there's 20 lira, 100 lira. There's a mini 50 lira and a 500 lira, I think, are the coins involved. None of them have been in circulation since 2001. Some not since 1995. Each coin rare and special in its own right. This is you know, it's kind of like a charm bracelet. It's in a charm bracelet. It's a celebration of Italy. It's a celebration of the history of the money of Italy. It's a celebration of a time when Italy was, you know, think of Frank Sinatra and all those folks, you know, going to go into Italy and the movies that were made there and the, the music and the food. And that's when we fell in love with Italy. America fell in love in the 50s and 60s with Italy. And this was the coin of the realm at that time. So if they could talk, oh, the things they would say. <laughs> but, you know, it's a charm. It's a charm style bracelet. And here's the funny thing. I do a lot of consulting in the jewelry industry, and charm bracelets used to go in and out of style every generation. If your mom wore one, the kid didn't want one. If the grandma wore one, then the, then the kid, the grandkid wanted hers. Well, that's all changed. We all love charm bracelets. We have all loved charm bracelets now for almost 25 years. It's non-generational. Everybody loves them because they like telling a story, a story about what's important to them or dreams that they have or memories they have or plans that they might have to maybe go to Italy someday soon. That's that's what this is. It's a story, and it's your story. And that's, that's I love that about a charm bracelet. Well, and the other thing that's so lovely is it just feels so good to wear and it looks so beautiful. You know, I always, whenever I see women wearing Italian jewelry and then if they, they happen to have, you know, liras on them or something like that, oh my gosh, I'm immediately attracted to that. I, I, I love the look of it. I think it's really that uber rich girl look. And, and again, it's rarefied air. You know, a lot of people who have beautiful chunky gold jewelry, I mean, they're spending thousands of dollars on it. And thanks to Beletza, you know, that's how Beletza and a long time ago, this will go back a while, guys, Technobon. If you remember Protectabon when we did that a gazillion years ago. Between these two, that's how I've really grown my jewelry, my gold jewelry world. I really have. Um, I want to get the real thing. I love the fact this is 18K. I love the fact it is a precious metal. I really don't care what's underneath it. If you can't see it, why do I care, right? The good news is it is bronze. So again, you've got that durability and that longevity of it. But boy, oh boy, to be able to get something beautiful like this, and I really love this. If you can swing it with our flex pay tonight, this is a wonderful wonderful way to wear some great jewelry. You put this bracelet on with that great watch that are both, uh, the, uh, the excuse me, the uh, watches on sale, but put them both on, wear them together. You can certainly wear it separately. It's beautiful if you're going on a cruise to wear this. It just looks great with a bathing suit. Like if I have this in solid gold with really expensive like gold coins hanging off of it, I wouldn't just wear it on a bathing suit on a cruise. But because it's this, I would totally want to look that look, right? And we can do it. All right, guys, stay on the line. What is the most limited of the two links, Rick. Let's do that real quick. If you want size eight, I'm down to the final 50. 5 -0, that's it, and then it's gone. The other size, and it's not very much more than that, is gonna be the seven and a quarter. All right, where are we moving on to next? Oh, the heart necklace. Oh, yay, yay, yay. Okay. What a fun show. There's so many great pieces in this show. All righty. Here we go. The heart necklace. This will be coming up, or it's actually coming up right now, and we gave you guys a little sneak peek at it. This is brand new, so it's very cool. And, you know, Paul, I love this because we have three choices. So we have silver tone, which is rhodium, gold tone, which is 18K, and rose gold tone. This is unusual to see in the Bletsa line, the rose gold. This is also electroform, a really difficult called manufacturing process but what I love about it is you get a really big bold look but it doesn't weigh a ton on your neck toggle closure length is 20 inches and the drop is about an inch and a half but let's get into this because really you've taken a, a kind of a, a old trend and a new trend and they've been mixed together in this design well an older trend than you even know because <laughs> the original description of this particular shape heart was in the writings of Aristotle in Greece. But it wasn't until the Renaissance when an Italian, uh, Dr. Vigivano, I believe was his name, drew this particular shape heart from the notes of Aristotle. Well, it started a, a stampede. And in the Renaissance, this particular shape became known as the Sacred Heart of Christ. And 
everybody had to have one. And you saw it in the paintings and you saw it in the churches and everybody had one that was on their person somewhere. It was the sacred heart of Christ. Well, fast forward to the 18, 17 and 1800s and it became the symbol of love and charity and compassion and eventually the symbol of Valentine. But this particular, this particular stylized shape actually has a history that is thousands of years old before they were even really, you know, dissecting and looking at what the human heart looked like, which by the way, it doesn't quite look like this, but this is a beautiful stylized shape. Now this is electroform and electroform, if you guys don't know, is a process where there's a, a, a meltable core inside the heart and, and, and they, they, put the metal around that core layer after layer, and then the core melts out. So you get this puffy heart, but it doesn't weigh a ton. So it's comfortable to wear. Now the chain, the Italians call this link the graffetta link. And I wanna show you something. The Italians did this for me and I show it every now and again. This chain I'm putting on here, also graffetta link, is 14 karat. This chain is $6,000. Ha ha, $6,000. This chain is not $6,000. That's how believable Belletza is. These come from the exact same workshop, the exact same craftspeople, the same, the proud artisans that you were talking about who you met years ago. It's them and their descendants who are working in gold, platinum, and for us in bronze, and then they are bathing it in the 18 karat gold. I, I don't think we have ever made a more beautiful heart, never. I mean, this, it's really stunning. And Suzanne, would you talk about the way it feels? Will you talk about the, because there's a quality to it that it's not a cheap piece. It, it, it feels, it feels like, you know, when you, when you have a, an expensive car and you close the door and it goes, woof, and you're like, oh, huh, that's a nice car. Well, that's what, that's what this is. This is an, it's an expensive feeling piece of jewelry. It's an expensive looking piece of jewelry. I love that toggle closure. And I, and I love the fact that it's in the front because yeah. now it's easy to put on. It's so yeah. much fun. Yeah, it really is. And when you talk about the weight, again, it looks like it's going to really pull your neck down or it's really heavy because that puff is really quite big. In fact, I love my little ruler today because I want you to see this isn't just an insignificant little puff right here. That electroform is really, really difficult to do. It's a very, very touchy process, but it gives you a big, big look without using a ton of metal to achieve that. And notice, and to your point you said earlier, notice too, a lot of really inexpensive manufacturers are going to see a seam right there uh, or they don't really finish it off but with electroform you can create these big puffy looks again using a lot thinner metal but it's not wimpy I hope that makes sense because I think when you say thinner or lighter you think oh it's going to just not have that heft that we want for a gold piece to look like like if you get gold and you're thinking gold and you want to replicate the look of it you do want quite a heft but not around your neck so this is awesome you get just a really large puff now update really quickly the rose gold is almost sold out. It is very unusual to see rose gold in the show. That's the first time I've ever seen it. Then the gold tone, oh, is number one bestseller in Belletza, is that great 18K over the bronze. Fantastic. Now, please remember, too, in this case, uh, is this a rhodium or did you use platinum on this? It is a rhodium that's over the top of it. Which and is so part of the platinum that, family. So, right. So it has that super hot, bright, um, color that you look for. It's the same way we work with white gold. We use a rhodium plating because gold actually tarnishes. You know, a lot of folks don't realize that like the number one enemy of your fine jewelry is hairspray, suntan lotion, lotion, and cologne. And even if you're wearing solid gold jewelry, if you get hairspray, lotion, and that sort of stuff on it, it dulls the finish. And it's, it's not just dirty. It actually eats away at the finish and dulls it. And so take, we have to take care of our jewelry because je jewelry is not indestructible, but oh, when it's this beautiful, it's worth taking care of. And I always tell folks, you know, don't sleep in your jewelry, take it off at night, you know, and give it, give it a rest and give it room to breathe. Wash it gently with a little bit of sparkle, sparkle. That's the best thing to use on it. And 
You're going to love this link. You know, that's a beautiful paperclip or the graffetta link that we call it. And we have not done this puffy heart before. And when you think to yourself, this design was described by Aristotle over 2,000 years ago. It was realized by a physicist in Italy during the Renaissance. And here it is today where we can enjoy it as a beautiful piece of jewelry that has history and heritage and a touchstone. And it's a heart. It's, you know, the heart is such a magical, important symbol. It is the symbol of love. It's the symbol of caring. It's the symbol of compassion. And they're pretty on top of everything else. Oh, you're right. I mean, there's so much meaning behind it. And it's a lovely gift to give. Do you have maybe someone who's getting married and you're like, I want to give her something really special? Or the bridesmaids. Oh, please. Can you imagine if you got all gold of the all gold ones of these to all your bridesmaids and just said, hey, I love you so much. Thank you for being with me on this special day. Or it's the bride. Now, she might not necessarily wear it at the wedding, although I think it would be cool with some gowns. But it's afterwards when she takes off for the honeymoon. She puts this on or during the day she's wearing it before the wedding. And you just write a little note that says, honey, we love you so much. We hope you remember this 50 years from now. You know, whatever you want to put inside there. But there's so many great meanings behind a heart and a wonderful way to share love with someone. It's a great length. You can see I have plenty of room on here. The toggle is very easy to work with. Thank you very much, Belenza. Just pop it in there. You're good to go. Another thing to note is... Yeah, I just want to do that. Right there. I just want to see. See a really solid, beautiful toggle there. So it just drapes pretty on the neckline. Okay, we got to keep rolling. Look at this. Oh my gosh. How many of us got a necklace in the past or got a beautiful pendant and it came with a dumb, dumb fine rope chain and it made you crazy? Well, we've got that replacement. You know, the fine rope that broke years ago and you've never quite found a chain to go with it. We've got a great alternative. This is also an awesome layering piece. It's a standalone piece. And on top of all of that, it's very, very unisex. So Guys and gals can both enjoy and wear this one. Here's what I have, and again, very, very limited. We've got the 18 inch, we have the 20 inch, I have the 24 inch, and look at this, guys. I've got a whopping 30 inch necklace. This is the most limited, and that is really rare even on HSN to see. We have this at an eighth of an inch wide, and this is a beautiful diamond cut flat curb. So take a chunky curb, you're gonna flatten it, you're gonna diamond cut it. Really one of those classic, classic Italian chains. And of all the things, all the things the Italian manufacturers and the Italian jewelry houses do, boy, nobody beats them when it comes to making chain, right, Paul? Oh, no, absolutely <laughs> not. And it's funny because the curb link, which was originally called the grometta link, or in French, grometta, um, you know, precedes the Cuban curve that, that we hear a lot about today. And there's a, there's a difference. There is a refinement that you will find in the Italian product that is, there's more diamond cutting. There's more, um, there's more fluidity the way the chain is actually crafted because no one can make a chain the way the Italians do. And it is machine made. They created these machines with these hands that turn and twist and take wire and turn it into all, you should see it online. It's just fascinating to watch. But you can give those machines to somebody in another country and they cannot get the same quality because those craftspeople, the ones in Italy, the ones you met, Suzanne, those folks have such pride that if it's not perfect, it gets thrown out. In the garbage it goes, they melt it, they start over with it. It would never, ever leave the workshop. So each one of these is perfect. And here's the thing. Once you get one of these on, you're going to look in the mirror and you're going to say, wow, I, I like my new Valetza. And within a week, you're going to be like, I like my new gold chain. <laughs> right. And I'll tell you, this happened to me for real. I was at the car wash, getting my car wash, and one of the young guys there said, I don't, I don't want to be rude, but are those chains real? Because I had on the whole set. Yeah. He said, are those chains real? He was just fascinated that I had all this gold. So I handed him one, and I said, well, you tell me. What do you think? I took off the long one. He said, damn, how much did that cost? And I said, well, you're going to be surprised because this is Belletza, and it's actually bronze. Bronze laid in 18 karat gold. So you get the look, but you don't have to spend six, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000 for that look. Here's what happens. You get one home and you're like, I'm gonna order another length. I want more than one. And that's the thing with gold. We, can, we can't even have one, most of us. Right, but with you're this, exactly right. You, could have, you can have all four if you want. By the way, if you get two lengths, get the 18 and the 30, because when you look at the Mona Lisa and you look at how her face is constructed, that's something called the golden ratio. And Leonardo da Vinci used this to make the most beautiful woman on earth. 
And if you use the 18 and the 30, it's the same ratio that's used in painting the Mona Lisa. And it, it was beautiful on, trust me. Okay, that is so smart. Now I wanna show you guys something else that's really cool. How many of you have a pendant? And it came with an 18 inch necklace and you always have to kind of wear it up here. Look what happened. Now we have these individual enhancers available. Please remember next hour, the necklace coming up that includes the enhancer pendant can go on this easily, okay? No problems there. But look what happens. If you have a, it could be a heart, it could be a cross that you have, it could be a lovely pendant you got for your anniversary, you know, five years ago. Look what happens when you slip it on here. Now this is very wide, it's very sturdy and very strong. But as long as your bail is a decent size, it's gonna easily go over that. So that necklace that you've only been stuck wearing right here at 18 inches, all of a sudden now you transform it and look how it fills the neckline. Look how it takes my basic tunic and really gives you that elongated look. I love these long links too because when we're wearing a lot of our cardigans and our jackets and our blazers and things like that, we want a long necklace right down the center to really finish off the outfit because of the collar of the cardigan. This is perfect for that and this is a great opportunity too. So transform the pendants you already have. The easiest way to do it is to get this necklace. Take that fine rope that just barely is, you know, holding up that pendant or 